Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here in Zephyrtown. I hope your day is going wonderfully. First on the agenda, well, we gotta pick these radishes, and that's pretty much it for the for the farm stuff. Also would like this episode to figure out what is growing in the fall section, if that's an apple tree, if that's a cherry tree, because don't know what we're actually going to do about that until we figure out which one is growing there. But, um, also, this Thursday is the day that our baby boy or girl is due to be born. So, that's what's coming up this episode. Um, and I don't think there's anything else, but let's check just to be sure. Yeah, nothing else. And also, I've been kind of not very good about this for some reason, but... Uh, we need to go ahead and plant that orange tree. At least to get it out of storage. Again, we don't know if this tree or that tree are cherry or is a cherry tree, so... You know, if it is, then it'll probably be higher quality than the cherry seeds that we have. And so we want to we want to uh, use those cherries to replant whatever is here. Anyway. So, orange tree. There you go. Now, technically, we could wait until autumn, because trees take about two months to grow, and they don't grow during winter. So we could wait until autumn to... Uh, to plant any summer tree and it will grow in time, but just to be on the safe side. Or just to get it out of our inventory, rather. Just to get it out of storage. I'm sorry, my, my brain is a little razzle-frazzled right now. Now you know what's going on in this episode, but first, before we continue, have I got an offer for you. You, yes you, the person watching this video. Are you looking for a new Discord server? Why, I might have just the one you're looking for. And, if you act now, by going down in the description and clicking the link below, you, yes you, can join for free. And, not just that, but if you act now, I'll also throw in a memes channel, and an art channel, and a voice chat, all for free. So what are you waiting for? Go down in the description below, and click that link. Luri, how are you? I'm okay, do you like pancakes? Ooh, is this for me? Oh, how nice. Thank you very much. Um... Hopefully he'll- that- that's- that's him liking it. You getting good exercise on your farm? Exercise is important. Oh, thanks. Well, alright. I figured you probably wouldn't be too fond of it, but... Thought I'd give it a shot. Good afternoon, Ray. You look well. Moon shadow, moon shadow. Huh. Yakisoba. I don't think we've actually given yakisoba to anyone, so let's buy a whole bunch of them. And we can start giving them as gifts at some point. And see if anybody likes yakisoba. But you know how I like my yakisoba? With tea. Mmm. Delicious. Just for the record, if you don't interact with your animals for two days in a row, you will lose something like 15 friendship points with them, which is quite a lot. And I wanted to see if it's actually even necessary to stethoscope our chickens, or if them being outside is enough to count as an interaction, or maybe if them being inside to lay an egg in the morning is enough to count as an interaction. So I'm going to go ahead and not be stethoscoping them for a few days and just see if we lose friendship points with probably the one that would be no most notable would be the Tau Trio, which, I mean, they just reached five star eggs. So if we lose any friendship with them, then that will be get knocked down to four and a half. And well, that will tell us pretty quickly that we do need to stethoscope them every day or at least every other day. Invent endless inventory issues. This is another thing that people criticize Grand Bazaar for is you're never truly free of the inventory issues. It's just ridiculous. But the thing is, is that part of the problem is that we've been trying to improve the star quality of our crops. And so we've got like 
all sorts of things like, for example, the cucumbers, right? The cucumber seeds? Let me see. See, we have two five-star cucumber seeds, but we also have 14 two-star cucumber seeds. And so we need to sell these off. And so that's kind of a large part of where our inventory issues are coming from. Not to mention all these different qualities of fertilizer. And then of course we've got all these various different random cooked dishes that we just have hanging around for one reason or another. Oh Ray, hello. For me? Thanks. Hello there, Ray. Feel free to ask me any questions. Hey Ray, what are you up to? Taking a break from work? I like these, thanks. For me, thanks. What do you got, Joan? Pancake or mint tea? Well, I'm just gonna have some Irish breakfast tea while I eat this herb sandwich that's like two and a half weeks old. Is that okay? Thank you. Mmm. Delicious. Hey, Isaac, how's the diet going? Hey, Luri. How are you? Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. Hmm. I don't know if he liked that. I think probably he's mostly neutral to it. And so that means that the pancakes he does like. Okay. Okay. We are we are figuring this out. I mean some of these characters are very ambiguous with the way they talk about the things that they like. So, it can be difficult to figure out just by gifting them stuff. But... Oh, I could hide neath the wings of the bluebird as she sings. Why? Why again? Again? Vaporeon, of course, because it's raining, right? Of course it would be Vaporeon, because it's raining. And here's the thing, right? Look, look, look let's, let's see this. Okay, see, that is empty, and that is empty, which means that Vaporeon was inside. Vaporeon was inside when we fed them, and then just wandered out. Vaporeon, please. Oh my goodness. And now, naturally, is mad at me because the rain was calling to her and she was like, oh yeah, it's rain. It's, it's the song of my people, these raindrops on the ground. I need to go to it. And now she's mad at me. Because it's apparently my fault that she just wandered outside. And I really hope that our regular sheep are not teaching our Suffolk sheep how to wander out. I really, really, really do not want Espeon to be wandering outside when we're trying to get her friendship up, which I don't think we actually can do. Actually, wait, no, hold on. Is the animal festival in, in fall or in summer? I think it's in summer. I think it's a little over a week away, which would mean that there's no way that Espeon gets enough friendship in order to in order to outcompete our other sheep in ter in in the in the animal festival so i should probably check on that i'm i'm telling you like these sheep are very accurate to real world sheep from what from what people who have actually been in that position to take care of a large number of sheep, not not people who have a pet sheep and are like, oh, our pet sheep is so smart. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm talking about like people who actually have to deal with herds of sheep as their job. From what they have told me, these sheep are very accurate to real life sheep. And that like a shepherd's main job is to make sure that the sheep don't kill themselves. The BB is coming, I'll be right there. You wait here, we'll handle it. Oh.
That was not my Nelly voice. Ooh. Almost there. Just a little bit more. Come on. You got a healthy little BB. It's a girl. Congratulations. This is our child. We need a wonderful name for our child. Can you think of a good name, honey? I'll go with Luna. So we'll call our child Luna? Yeah. That's a good name. I like it a lot. Hi there, Luna. Me and Daddy are gonna make sure you grow up well. You're such a good husband, honey. You always make me smile. Now have an herb salad. This herb salad is my favorite. I'm really touched that you remembered, honey. Of course. Uh, so right now, Luna will be in the bed for the next uh, little over a year. I think it's a, like 136 days or something like that. I forget. I'd have to look it up. Um, before she reaches the crawling stage. So it's going to be a while before we make any progress in befriending our child. So you can't interact with Luna because she just she stays in the bed for for the entire time. So Espeon's at four friendship hearts. And yeah, the Sheep Festival is is on the 15th. And so really no matter what we do, Espeon is not going to be able to get up to six hearts of friendship. And so I think it's better to just uh, not really focus so intently on trying to get Espeon's friendship up. Hey there, working hard, Ray? Wow, this is just mean. Does he not like anything sweet? Is that... Is that the thing? Hmm. That might actually be... The thing, is that we should avoid giving him, like, sweets. Because I... I know, like, every single pie that we've given him, he's rejected. And now these herb cookies, too. Yo. 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 We really, really do not need this many yam, eggplant, or yellow pepper seeds. And I'm, I'm seriously considering chopping that down, chopping these down, and just replacing them with, with carrots and, and spinach. Because honestly, yeah, that's probably the best course of action. Because we're just going to be selling the extra seeds that we get from this in, anyway, so why not? All right, let's check the uh, let's check the eggs. Right, we gotta grab these, and it looks like them just going outside is not enough. So yes, we are losing friendship with the chicken, so we do need to stethoscope them. That is unfortunate to say the least, because we could really use uh, that time. That you, we usually take stethoscoping the chickens. We could use, we could really use that for other things. But oh well. And as for the, actually, let's check the wool. Yeah, the wool is still five stars. So, yeah, them being outside isn't enough. Um, so let's go ahead and and bell these animals and hope that that's enough. Good afternoon, Ray. You look well. A present, thank you. Oh my goodness. A cook dish that Ethel actually likes, rather than just tolerates. Amazing. Hmm? Ah, it's you. Please don't overwork yourself, Ray. That's pretty nice. You're giving it to me? Uh, uh, thanks. Hey, Ray. What are you up to? Taking a break from work? Yes, to give everyone miso eggplant. Seriously? You're giving this to me? Uh, but I don't like these very much. 
What a surprise. Kevin doesn't like it, and neither does Dirk. Oh, Ray. Hello. For me? Thanks. Hello there, Ray. Feel free to ask me any questions. For me? Thanks. Is this herb salad? Tell me that it's herb salad. I am running so low. It is. I We're gonna buy a bunch of this. We're just gonna buy like 99 to give to Sherry. Yeah, you know what? 99, sure, why not? We can afford it. And Sherry is definitely worth it. Mmm. Delicious. Hi, Ray. How are you doing? I don't actually like this. I'm a little disappointed. Um, hello. Uh, I... I don't really want this. You know what? I don't blame you. Hey there. What are you doing? Ray, shouldn't you be, like, working? This is what you call a present? Ray, you are super lame. Listen, I'm just testing the waters, okay? I know, I know, eggplant. Not great, but... Oh, and we also need to try it out with Isaac and Wilbur. Neither of them are gonna like it. You get good exercise on your farm? Exercise is important. Ah ha ha! Thanks for thinking of me! Wow. Okay, never mind. Hey, Luri. How are you? Ho ho ho. Thank you. That's actually the first time there's been a discrepancy in what Wilbur and uh, Felix have liked. Well... This episode, we welcomed our bouncing baby girl, Luna, into the world. Isn't she precious? Isn't she wonderful? Anyway, but that's going to have to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the rest of your day is a good one, and I hope to see you later. Bye.